Look, if you still can't wake up at 5.30 after these two things, I don't really know how else to help you. All right, so guys, I am feeling great because I woke up at 5.30 this morning like every single morning and I wish that you guys could have the same feeling and I wish I could have had this feeling uh, a lot earlier than you know I actually did. It took me a long time to get to a point where I'm waking up at 5.30 a.m. every single morning uh, and I tried a bunch of weird and wacky stuff. You know, I did probably what a lot of you guys are doing which is looking up on YouTube how to wake up early, how to wake up at five o'clock, how to do this, how to do that. Um, and you know, I tried a bunch of stuff, I tested it for a long time and nothing seemed to work for me until I got this right blend. And to really put things into perspective, I actually used to pay, um, or I, I used to um, get my business partner to call me every single morning, um, uh, call me every single morning and uh, wake me up. Right, and if I didn't send him a Snapchat of me like doing something visibly, like out of bed and doing something within 45 minutes, then I would have to uh, pay him 20, 20 pounds or something like that. And I think at one point it went up to 50 pounds. Um, so, you know, I, it, I knew how important waking up at 5.30 was to me, um, but it was just something that like I, I really genuinely did struggle with. And I wanna make sure that you guys don't have that same issue. Now, if you are looking on YouTube, probably what you'll find is a bunch of videos that um, are telling you stuff like, you know, you need to have motivation, you need to have a reason to get up, you need to have some drive, blah, blah, blah. And guys, trust me, I believe in that. I believe that you do need to have some motivation, you need to have a drive, you need to have a purpose, you need to have structure for your next day so you know what you're waking up for. Um, you know, you need to wake up with some joy, some positivity, but look, it's the same thing that, you know, when someone comes to me and they ask like, you know, yeah, and how do I, how do I make $100,000, you know, I, if, if, if it was my choice, I would teach him a bunch of transformation and inner work. You know, I teach him uh, belief systems, uh, breaking old habits, um, a, a bunch of just inner, inner work that is so, so important and so underrated. But here's the thing, what's most important to that person is to get him a, a few small little wins. So I'm gonna show him how to make $100 a day online. For me, that's the first little win that I wanna get them. With you guys, trust me, long-term, you do need to have some, you know, you know, you need to wake up with positivity and stuff like this, but. I wanna be like straight up with you guys here and give you guys two just things that you can take away, implement tomorrow, and probably for 90 plus percent of you, it'll fix your problem literally in, in less than a day. One thing that I also do wanna say is that in terms of waking up early, the more I know this is very obvious, but the more and more you do it, the more and more you reinforce it. So the more you do it, the more you believe you can do it, the more you believe you can do it, the more you do it. A lot of people just talk about like, you know, um, habits and the power of habits. I want you to think about it this way. The more you do something, the more you believe you can do it. The more you believe you can do it, the more you do it, the more you do it, the more you believe you can do it. So honestly, guys, I would say, you know, don't focus on waking up at 5.30 every single day. W wake up at 5.30 or 5 or 6, whenever you want to wake up for three days in a row. And honestly, after three days in a row, you've got so much momentum or, or enough momentum to keep you going to around, I'd say, you know, once you had that 21 day mark or, or scientifically 66 days is how long it takes to um, uh, instill a habit is the latest research. Um, you know, once you get to that mark, it's, it's easy, you know? So uh, another thing, if you're looking to wake up early, I want you to not go out this weekend, right? What is one weekend lost if, you know, you've got this new habit? If you can do, you know, if you start say on Monday, Monday and you go for an entire seven nights, you know, and then you have another, say, an entire five nights of the next week and then go out, you know, that, that following week, right? Because then that gives you whatever, say, like 12 days or so to really like drill this in and then you can go out, you know, come back at five o'clock, you know, or go to a party, whatever it is you want to do, right? And that'll definitely mess up your sleep cycle, but, you know, you got to enjoy your life. So, guys, we're going to crank into these two tips right now. We're going to head over into my bedroom and um, yeah, guys, remember, I'm gonna give you these two hacks, but you really gotta, you really gotta make me a promise that you know for the next 12 days or so, you're you're gonna make this commitment, and you're gonna put, you're gonna set it, you're gonna set some time aside for this, and just make a small little sacrifice. Say, for example, this weekend to make sure that you know you can have this habit going forward into the next few months. So, I'm sure you guys are interested. What is these? What are these two things you men are talking about? Let's get into it. So guys, we are here in my bedroom. Now, 
I've gone through my entire morning routine. I'm here, sat at my bed, ready to go. And um, the last thing that I think about, that, you know, there's, there's a few things that I think about before bed. You know, there's a few people, it's an exercise where I, I wish a few people that I know, that I don't know, the entire world, I wish them, you know, happiness, love, fulfillment. Um, I do that, you know, I, I just <laughs> monastically obsess over, you know, my goals because I, I do believe in manifestation when you match it with work. Uh, and then the last thing that I do is literally I imagine, and I repeat this three, four times, I literally imagine me getting out of bed uh, in the morning. Imagine me getting out of bed in the morning and just like being ready for the day. Um, and I, look, when, when you're sleeping, your brain is ticking away, right? Have you ever just like woken up in the middle of the day and you're or, or middle of the night and you're just thinking about something, whether it be work related, personal life related, like your brain is just mulling things over, right? So first of all, I literally just visualize like three, four times me getting up in the, in the morning, me getting out of bed and like being ready for the day when that five o'clock, uh, when that 5.30 alarm goes off. Now, let's get into what happens when I actually wake up. First thing that I wanna mention is, you know, obviously I've got the lights on right now. When I don't have the lights on, this is what, and also keep in mind, like at 5.30 in London, it's like pitch black. It's not like, the, the, there's no even like a little bit of window light coming in. Um, it's like, imagine this, except like times a hundred, like it's, it's not fun, it's just, uh, you know, 5.30 comes around and I'm like, literally like, what the hell am I even up for? Like wh everything in my body is like, why are you awake? Um, so here's what I do to counteract that. Basically, I'll throw in a bit of B-roll, but right by my bedside, I have a little clock. It's a wake up light. So basically what it does is from five o'clock to 5.30, it starts to illuminate very, very slowly. So guys, basically this is what the wake up light will look like in the morning. Uh, you've got all these different, you know, dials and stuff here. Um, what you can do with this thing is you can actually, let's line things up, um, is you can actually set it so that, you know, when the alarm goes off, you can actually have, you know, music playing as well. Um, so, you know, you can have music, you can have, you know, the, a physical light, you can choose how bright you want the light, or you can have like a fluorescent light, which I mean, hey-ho, I mean, I guess if that's, that's interesting for some people. You can set how bright you want the light. So for example, like that, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot easier on the eye. You've got the time right there. So um, yeah, this is a light in general. I think I picked this up for like 20 ish pounds on Amazon. There's a bunch for like a hundred guys. Don't do it. Just get something simple like this. Trust me. It is all you need. And basically what that does is that gives almost like the effect of, you know, sun, sunshine coming in so that at um, 530, you know, when I'm scheduled to wake up, you know, the thing's shining like pretty, pretty brightly in my face and our circadian rhythm can actually, you know, sense sunlight and, you know, this mirrors the same sort of color temperature as sunlight. Obviously nothing will ever compare to sunlight, but it's still better than waking up in a pitch black room. And then everything in my body, when I wake up in a pitch black room is literally telling me like, you man, go back to bed. You should not be up right now. Okay, so that's number one. That's hack number one. And hack number two is the alarm I use itself. So let's get into that. Now guys, this has really been the key for me. When you get out of bed, I, like I've, you know, a lot of people just use regular alarms. They've even got their snooze option on, which I think is ridiculous. I found this alarm probably like two months, three months back, and it's something called Alarmy. And for me, it was the game changer. When I paired the wake up light with Alarmy, I have no issue getting out of bed at this point. Here's why, because I physically have to get out of bed. Okay, so with most alarms, you know, you can choose off, turn off, this, that. With Alarmy, it's a bit different. This is kind of what the interface looks like. So guys, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but I have two alarms, one set for 5.29 and one set for eight o'clock. Eight o'clock is for the weekend. If it was my choice, I'd just wake up at 5.30 again, but Hey ho, um, you know, my girlfriend likes to sleep in and like everyone tells me I need to relax a bit. So look, for at 5.30, basically you can set different missions. So my, my mission to wake up my, um, to wake up my, you know, just myself is to literally scan the barcode of my coffee machine. You've got other ones here, like take a picture. So you could take a picture of your coffee machine. Uh, you could solve a math problem and then decide, you know, how difficult is the math problem. 
you could shake the the device to actually allow you um, allow it to wake up so uh, you know that's uh, that's pretty much what I use guys and now obviously it's no longer 530 but I'm gonna set this for maybe whatever let's uh, let's, let's uh, set this new alarm for uh, every day uh, we'll set it from a few minutes for now and I'm literally gonna show you guys what happens, you know, when, the, when this thing actually goes off. So guys, you hear that? All right, so basically just imagine it's 5.30. My wake up light is like fully shining. So, you know, my body knows that it's, it's actually time to get up. I've got my alarm. Uh, you can dismiss it for like 20 seconds. So I dismiss it for 20 seconds while I actually head off to the, um, to my coffee machine. Now, once again, just remember that all of this is actually just like, it's super dark right now. So you can see coffee right there. Head on into my kitchen. Oh shit. You can see, dismiss. So the mission is coffee. So that's what we have to do. I have to scan a barcode from this coffee tag that's in there. So let's do that. Now, guys, I go ahead, I take it, I scan, and there you go. Mission complete. I am officially awake. I am out of bed. Now, keep in mind, guys, my body knows it's time to get up because for the past 30 minutes, the wake up light has literally been conditioning me, uh, you know, brightening it up, waking up. Uh, so my body knows it's time to get up and now I'm physically out of bed because I have no choice. When I say that this alarm will not turn off, I literally mean that this alarm does not give you an option. If you miss it or you dismiss it, you have 20 more seconds. You have 20 more seconds and then you have to wake up again. So literally now I'm here in my kitchen, I'm up, Okay, I'm up. I've my body's been conditioned through through that wake up light. You know, I'm physically out of bed. Usually at this point, I'm not dressed, so I'm just in shorts. So I go, I grab my Canada Goose. That thing is warm as fuck. Um, I throw that on. Okay. Now, as I said, I am now in my um, I'm now in my kitchen. So what I go ahead and do is I always have sliced lemons. All right, so I have lemons and I. You know, I do drink coffee in the morning, but here's the thing, uh, coffee is, you know, it's dehydrating, you know, so first thing in the morning, you wanna take a fresh lemon, you wanna squeeze it, um, and then, yeah, you wanna squeeze it, get some water in, and then get a coffee if you want to. Uh, if you don't, that's cool as well. And um, yeah, at that point, I'm out of bed, hydrated, ready to go. And really the only thing you need to make sure you do now is, okay, let's find it. Okay, this, this level. Uh, basically all you have to do now is make sure that you don't crawl back into bed. And you know, to do that, you just need to have, make sure that you have something that you're looking forward to. So every morning for me, it's gym, sauna, or a long walk and podcast. I listen to podcasts every morning, but you know, for example, yesterday I went, I did a, I had a leg session. Uh, in the gym, uh, and today I went for steam room and sauna. Uh, tomorrow I'll go upper body. Saturday, uh, you know, gym opens later, so I do a, a long walk and a long podcast. So make sure you have something to look forward to, or trust me, it's happened to me before. You will just crawl back into bed. So guys, let's move this thing out the way. Look, if you still can't wake up at 5:30 after these two things, I don't really know how else to help you. These are the two things that I've managed to use that uh, you know have worked for me. And um, yeah, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe. I've got a bunch of content for all you young millennial entrepreneurs. And um, yeah, guys, let me know. Do you want to see more stuff like this? I know when it comes to like business and stuff like that, um, you know, when it comes to social media marketing, when it comes to personal branding, any sort of paid traffic stuff, anything business oriented, online, um, online business oriented, that's my shit. I can do that. I can cover that topic for you guys. Uh, making videos on how to wake up early is something I'm not as comfortable um, doing or don't have as much experience doing, but hey ho,
what you asked and um, yeah, is there anything else you'd like to see in this realm? I uh, generally can't stress the importance of what's up here, your belief system, uh, and also your routines and your habits. There are so many people I know out there that have every single answer to everything they want in life. They want an amazing relationship. They want to make $10 million. They want to travel the world. Um, you trust me, most, most people already have the answer to how to do that. It's just what's in here, you know, what are the belief systems and uh, what's the habits and what's the structure of the day look like. So on that note, I will see all of you guys. Oh, one last thing. I've been running a lot of uh, Google ads, YouTube pre-roll ads lately, and uh, I've been getting a lot of subscribers. Uh, it's been going well for me. So first of all, I just want to say hello to all you new subscribers. I'm glad you clicked on my ad and didn't think I was that big of a douchebag to actually go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate your belief in me not being a douchebag. Um, and yeah, stick around. You know, we've got lives twice a week. We've got a bunch of content. Pretty much what this channel stands for is the truth finding the truth in pretty much everything in life, testing different things, constantly pushing yourself, complete transparency, and just like, I think we have a channel filled with people who are, at least in terms of entrepreneurs, probably, you know, at a bit higher level than say some of the other channels, at least in their consciousness and, and you know, just, I think their drive, motivation. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I really appreciate you guys and I think we've got this really cool thing going on here and to everyone new to this whole family, Welcome and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow.